Okay, next up on the bench here, we're going to be working on a couple of new models and a couple that have been in the pile of shame for quite some time. In game histories, these models will be spanning some 10,000 years of Games Workshop Warhammer history. What we're going to be working on, we've got some of the new Warhammer, the Horus Heresy models, as well as a couple of older models that have been in the stash for a while. We've got the Spartan Land Raider, or the Land Raider Spartan rather, that came in the Horus Heresy box set. We've got the newer Primaris Repulsor Executioner, as well as the uh, Storm Speeder, which is the Primaris successor to the Land Speed to the Airborne Land Speeders. We have the classic Land Raider Crusader, which I'll be building as a Land Raider Redeemer, and then we've got the Demos Pattern Rhino and Kratos' Heavy Assault Tank from the Horus Heresy stuff. Now, a lot of cases here, what I'll be building with these is more something I think looks cool rather than anything that's necessarily more effective in-game. As a bonus, we may also be working on the yeah, Contempt or Dreadnought from the Horus Heresy box set as well. But given that I'm already working on like six tanks, adding a seventh probably won't uh, cause too much problem. This one likely won't have a whole lot of stage-by-stage -stage updates, but stay tuned. All right, at this stage with the Spartan, we've gone quite a ways. <clears throat> I was told to watch out on the instructions about where some things go, and that assembly at the top the instructions actually have it coming in to the hole, the couple of hole there. Don't. <clears throat> the front hatch does still work, although I haven't detailed the interior. Got the side sponsons built, but no track on them yet. As well as the back exhaust and the uh, sponson mounted quad las cannons built, but not mounted yet. Slowly but slowly, this thing's coming together. This represents a couple of hours worth of work. All right, construction on the Land Raider Spartan has definitely moved on a pace. At this point, main hull construction is done. I still need to put in the hull mounted weapons, the cupola mounted mount, which I'm probably going to do as a Havoc missile launcher. I have not installed the LAS cannon arrays, mostly to make things easier painting it. But all in all, this thing's actually a pretty good chunk of model. One thing I do like about Games Workshop's tracks is while they are built in segments, they look whole when you get finished with them. I'm very happy with how this one's turning out. Of course, there's still a whole bunch of pile to go, but we're getting there. Okay, at this point, base construction of the Spartan Land Raider tank is done. I've installed the searchlight, chaff launcher, hunter killer missile, Havoc Launcher, hull mounted heavy flamers, as well as temporarily installed the Sponson mounted LAS cannon arrays. <clears throat> all in all, there are parts of it that are a bit fiddly, but it works out really well. Now, while I'm thinking about it, when installing these little guys, you are better served to go in and install them to the piece they attach to underneath this because there's actually a lip under here that will cause problems trying to install them afterwards. But 
That one is now ready for paint. All right, next up in the sequence is the Venerable Land Raider kit where the Spartan was tooled last year. This old guy that I'm building, the kit's actually for the Land Raider Crusader, but I'm going to be building it as a Land Raider Redeemer. And according to the sprue, the tooling on this thing dates back to 19. 1999. An oldie, but a goodie. All right. As you can see, progress has been made on the Land Raider. Rear engines are in place, or the rear exhausts are in place. Most of the interior pieces are in place, even though you won't be able to see much in them. Now, one of the cooler features of the Land Raider versus the Spartan is sitting right there. What that does is allow you to simultaneously open and close. It doesn't get glued into place, but once I put the side sponson on, it'll hold. It allows you to simultaneously open and close the uh, front hatch. Slowly but surely, All right, tracks are on, as is the dual auto cannon. The hatch is still working the way it's supposed to. Of course, it helps now that I've got the side sponsons actually holding the parts in place. Project <clears throat> progress is going really well here. All right, as you can see, construction, raw construction is done on the uh, Land Raider. I have not actually installed the side sponsons yet. And unlike the ones on the Spartan, these are not removable. But not installing them will make it a lot easier to paint them. The rest of it, I don't have the couple of mounted weapons fixed in place. Went with a couple of other top options as well as uh, throwing some purity seals on her. But at this rate it's time to start the next tank. Next up now the construction or basic construction at least is done on the Land Raider. We're going back into the 31st millennium and the Kratos Heavy Assault Tank. This one, like most of Games Workshop's tanks, has a lot of available options. For this one, I'm going for coolest looking, which means I'll be using the Volkite Cannon L and the side-mounted Volkite Cannons. Hopefully, this one will go just as fast as the other two went. And just like the other two, things are moving very quickly. At this point, I have the track sponsons built. Now, there are some things to watch for. Got to make sure all the linkages line up right. And this first track, before this piece is installed, this first track, need to make sure it's all the way up against the uh, back wall, because otherwise, all your other pieces won't line up. All in all, definitely liking the way this thing's engineered though. As you can see, the main hull's been buttoned up. Still got to build the side sponsons and the turret. But we've got our Volkite weapons in the hull mounted. Very happy with how this is turning out at this point. 
going to be another quick construction. Maybe not so much on the uh, painting, but we got a ways to go before we hit that. As you can see, the main turret is now built. It's not glued in place, but that's intentional. We've got the Volkite Cannonel in place, sorry, Cardinal in place, as well as the auto cannon and the various bits that go with the Cannonel version of the turret. Now the back detail of the turret does vary depending on what weapons you've chosen. Just something to keep in mind if you're attempting to magnetize this thing. That and the fact that the top piece is what you'll wind up having to magnetize. Because you can't really, in, you can't pull the main gun out forward. Me, like I said, I'm building this for how I think it looks coolest. And that's what we've got right there. All right, as you can see, the Kratos assault tank is now finished, complete with the monster dozer blade on the front. The like, like with the uh, <clears throat> with the Spartan, I don't have the side sponsons fixed in position, so it'll make it easier to paint. But, as you can see, sitting next to the Spartan, this thing's a beast. But, it went together easier than the Spartan did. <clears throat> so, at this point, we've got three down. So, we're about halfway through the builds of this project. Moving right along in the tank builds, we're going back to the 41st millennium and the newer Space Marine Storm Speeder. Like with a lot of Games Workshop kits, you've got variants you can build. Me, I'm going to go with the Hammer Strike. Again, mostly because I just think it looks cool. Well, time to get cracking. This stage, the land speeder itself is finished. Minus any weapons, of course, because that all depends on the variant you're building. Pleased to say it went together fairly well. I did have to use tube cement on the base, but that's because the pedestal is kind of dished. But, may wind up mounting it on the base before I go too much further. <laughs> Admittedly, it marks the only one of these vehicles, barring the dreadnought, that I have to put on a base. Next stop, weapon variant. And here we have the latest addition to the vehicles list, the Storm Speeder Hammer Strike. Got missile launchers, lovely tri-barreled cannon. I've also added, thanks to a file I found over on Thingiverse, the symbol is actually for the old Luna Wolves Legion, but I've been using it with the Hellhounds, so I've added that to this one, as well as the other vehicles in the set. We're getting there. Okay, next up in the multi-tank pro project is the Deimos Pattern Rhino from the Horus Heresy set. 
This one's basically your basic APC. It's got some weapon options. I probably won't put the guys up here in the cupolas. But of the ones we've done so far, this should probably be one of the fastest. All right, main hull assemblies are basically in place now. Got the, the bottom plate and the rear door in place, as well as the main pieces of the track sponsons. Ordinarily, that door is designed to open and close, but due to the tightness of the parts, it's not wanting to close all the way. So I'm just gonna just go ahead and glue it shut. But we're coming right along. Okay, while waiting for the main body to finish setting up, went ahead and got everything else ready to go. The side pipes, everything else has been pulled off the sprues and or sub-assembled. I'm not building the searchlight this time. I've got my smoke dispensers, my combi bolter, my havoc launcher, the side doors are ready to go. About time to kick this thing into finish gear. And here we have, after a few little niggles, the completed Demos Pattern Rhino. As you can see, the door is still not wanting to cooperate with me. I may wind up super gluing it. But, all in all, Little guy is done. Of course, next to her brother, the Kratos, she's kind of tiny. Okay, before I tackle the uh, Primaris Repulsor, next stop's going to be the new Plastic Contemptor Dreadnought. This kit is much more versatile than the older version. Much more varied weapon loadouts. Definitely much more varied poseability. And we'll get started. Okay, taking a cue from some other builds of, of the Contemptor I've seen online, I went in and built up some 3D effect with cork because that is a pretty large blank space to deal with otherwise. And then I worked to take advantage of the dynamic nature of the new miniature and posed it accordingly. So it's like stepping up on this little chunk of whatever. It's a good start. Progress continues. As you can see, we've got the torso in place now, as well as the head. Got it twisting slightly toward the armor's right, like he's trying to turn toward a, an opponent. Well, next up, it's time for arms. All right, at this stage, the construction of the Contemptor is finished. He's armed with the Gravis Laz Cannon, and inside his power fist, if I can get it to focus, is a plasma gun. I've also gone in and added, as I've been doing with most of these, the... Uh, Luna Wolf slash Hellhounds logo. Crest, whatever you want to call it. All right, looks like next up will be that repulsor. Okay, we started this run with 
probably the most complex of the 30k era heresy era tanks the spartan now we're going to go finish the run with probably the most fiddly of the current stuff namely the primaris repulsor executioner hover tank now one of the big fiddlies is all these pads are mostly multi-pieces unlike on the uh, storm speeder now one thing I'm going to be doing, this thing's got a plasma cannon so available. So, in keeping with the Hellhound's theme, I'll be building it with the plasma cannon. Well, time to get started. All right, the hull of the uh, Repulsor Executioner is coming to shape now as you can see the pegs for a lot of those for lack of a better term skids are in place as is the back panel and the cabin is slowly taking shape it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be but it's still mm, it's been fiddly Okay, at this point, we're basically main body buttoned up. Still need to mount the rear turret, the main turret. We've got the front mounted twin heavy bolters in place. All of the hover plates are in place, as well as part of the base. I'm not worried about that being there right now because nobody's going to see it. Almost all of these plates going around are two-piece, hence the fear of this thing being ultra-fiddly. By this point, our next stop is the turret itself. Okay final vehicle of the build is now finished being built got the stowage in place the massive number of weapons on the turret and around the turret got our hellhounds logos in place at this stage the primaris repulsor executioner is ready to join the rest of the motor pool Next stop for all these guys is paint. Okay, after a busy day in the paint room, as you can see, I've gotten a lot of black priming done. Used up the better part of a full can of Vallejo black primer, but as you can see, These guys are all ready to start detail paint. All right, I apologize for things looking a little discombobulated at the moment, but I've gotten a lot of painting done today. The gray areas on the various pieces were coated in Steinel Res white and then Space Wolves gray. The black parts were all dry brushed into dark gray and then uh, the metallics on the guns and the smokestacks and everything else were dry brushed with aluminum. Same with the tank treads. And then the additional gun treatment on the guns was done with a custom mix of uh, Vallejo copper and dark aluminum to give kind of a burned effect. All in all, these guys are rapidly approaching completion. Okay. 
after several weeks on and off getting stuff done getting all these models put together painted detail painted this point I can safely call the build of the various armor for the Hellhounds chapter of the Adeptus of the Adeptus Astartes sorry Space Marines done now I went in and repainted the gray areas with uh, Vallejo off white so I could redo them using uh, Army Painters darker gray speed paint. The name's escaping me at the moment. I'll remember it later. But went in, got all that done. We've got our Tech Marine on the turret of the Repulsor Executioner with its plasma cannon. We've got the Spartan Transport, the Volkite Nightmare known as the Kratos Tank, the Rhino, Demos Pattern in this case, the Contemptor Dreadnought, and the Storm Speeder Hammer Strike. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna basically do an individual turnaround of each model followed by stills. Thank you all for watching.